here are three desks of three different Soho workers. Soho? Soho is short for small office, home office. The ideal target group for the B360, a multifunctional machine that's much more than just a fax. Before I introduce this machine to you, let's look at the three desks. This desk is fully equipped, you'd say. It has a PC, a printer, a thermal fax, a personal copier, and even a scanner. Desk number two seems more empty, but its owner is advanced as he faxes with his fax modem directly from his PC and is able to receive messages in his PC as well. And here we have desk number three. Rather empty, isn't it? Just a PC and a B360, and nobody is working there, it seems. Why not, you may wonder. Which desk do you think offers the most capabilities? Did you get it right? It's desk number three. The B360 is a multifunctional machine, which means it has a plain paper fax, PC fax, printer, copier, and scanner in one. And an easy question this time, which desk offers the most unoccupied working space? Correct. But the benefits of the B360 go far beyond this minor space advantage. One last question before we start with the real introduction. Which desk offers the best value for money? Once again, it's desk number three that wins. Anyone who owns a PC with a B360 saves almost 30% compared to someone who owns a PC, printer, plus fax of a similar quality, of course. If we compare desk number one to desk number three, the saving can amount to almost 200%. Well, who wouldn't like to own such a multifunctional machine that offers that value for money? But first, let us connect the B360 to this PC. A piece of cake, as you will well notice, even for the most inexperienced PC owner. All you need is a PC that works with Windows 3.1. You simply plug in the cable between the B360 and the PC. Then you hook it up to the telephone plug, and the other plug you put into the socket. You put the Canon diskette into your computer, and you type setup. After the software program is copied automatically to your hard disk, icons appear on your screen. If you select one of these icons, the B360 is ready to fulfill that specific function. Your PC will ask you if you want to select the Canon B360 as your default printer, the one in your basic settings. If you do, click on yes, and you're ready to work with this multifunctional machine. Installation completed. We're ready to send the first fax message. By the way, for those of you who know more about these matters, the B360 is equipped with a Centronic bi-directional interface. Let's see what it takes to send a fax with a normal standalone fax. You type in the text. Make a printout. Put it into the fax. Dial the number. And push the start button. Now look how you do this with the B360. You type in the text, select the fax function and the telephone number from the database you made on your computer, and it's already on its way, without you having to leave your chair for a moment. Even if you decide to make a hard copy as well, you can give the B360 the print command from behind your PC. In this way, you can send up to 50 pages, which is much easier to do with this B360 than with any other plain paper or thermal fax. Let's see what happens if somebody else sends you a fax. With the Canon B360, you can receive up to 70 pages, and it's up to you in what way. You can choose for a hard copy printout, like any standalone fax would give you, or you can store it in the memory of the B360, read it on your computer screen, and decide afterwards if you need a hard copy as well. This option can save you a lot of paper and filing. The advantage over a PC fax modem is that you don't have to leave your PC on 24 hours a day in order to be able to receive a fax. Thus, the B360 combines all the benefits of a standalone fax with those of a PC fax modem. Talking about printing, the B360 supports Canon's world-famous bubble jet printing technology. This means that it prints in A4 size at a speed of two copies per minute. It is virtually silent and maintenance-free, thanks to the cartridge, which is easy to change, as you can see. You can print 700 pages in high-quality mode and 1,400 in the economy mode. 
In other words, someone who has bought this fax machine also has become the owner of a perfectly capable bubble jet printer that is as good as any other standalone BJ or inkjet printer. Now let's see what the B360 has demonstrated so far. That it's an advanced fax machine with all the benefits of a standalone fax and a PC fax combined, and that it's at the same time a bubble jet printer. And Canon's PC fax software enables you to operate all functions from behind your PC without getting up from your chair. But if we think a little further, it's logical it contains two more machines. Everyone with a fax machine, especially the Soho worker, is aware of the fact that you can use your fax as a copier as well. And this one even copies on plain paper. And this means you can also use it as a scanner, which is very convenient for sending illustrated documents or official notes that require your signature. You can simply scan it and store it on your hard disk and send it via your PC without all the old-fashioned printing and cutting and pasting. So far some information about the different functions of Canon's B360. It also has some benefits I haven't mentioned that are useful for the Soho workers. Remember, the people in the small or home offices, your target group for the B360? Now, apart from being a perfect plain paper fax machine with all the advantages of a standalone and PC fax combined, and of course all features you would demand from any advanced fax machine today, it can be used as a capable printer, comparable to any other BJ or inkjet printer. And it's at the same time a copier and a scanner, which opens up a whole new range of possibilities, whether combined with the other functions or not. The software supplied makes it all child's play to operate. Because the B360 also has a fax tell switch, it can select itself what kind of signal is coming in. So you just need one telephone line for your office. You simply hook up an optional telephone and your answering machine to Canon's B360 and your office is fully equipped. Now is that a multifunctional machine or not? But how are you going to sell it? That's another problem we have to look into. Because people are not yet familiar with this new development, they perhaps think they won't need it. That's where you come in. As a salesperson, you can advise your customer. And most of your customers will be interested to learn that a multifunctional machine like this is on the market. For a competitive price, it can fulfill many functions. And that's only one of the unique selling points you have in store for them. In the next section of this video, we'll show you how to maximize your B360 selling capabilities. As you will see, it requires some simple but effective selling techniques. So let's leave the Soho environment and do some shopping. Let me start this part of the video by explaining this graph to you. It represents the selling process. The x-axis stands for the time spent with a customer and the y-axis for achieving buying interest. During the process, different steps have to be made. Step one is the approach, when you first establish contact with your customer. Step two is finding out the customer need when you ask your customer special questions to understand his or her working situation and objectives. Step three is called solution selling, or in other words, the most effective way of presenting Canon's B360 as the solution for your customer. And step four involves the closing phase, how to help the customer make his decision without using tricks. Now in order to show you how this selling cycle works, we'll put it into practice. For this, I will act as a prospect buyer, and my two colleagues, Archie and Bert, will both impersonate a salesperson. The scenes will be recognizable for you, but the reaction of Archie and Bert will not always be the best solution in the cycle. Sometimes I will ask for your opinion as well, so be prepared. And let's see what's required in order to sell a multifunctional machine. Approaching an unknown customer isn't always easy. No one looks forward to being brushed off by a customer. But most of the time, you can't wait until the customer approaches you. And you can't always guess what he or she is interested in. Suppose I'm an ordinary customer, thinking about buying a plain paper fax. I have a very vague idea about prices and benefits, and I just wish to orientate myself. Uh, can I help you? Um, no thank you, I'm just looking around. Now, that was nice and polite. Who took the initiative for this conversation? And, did the salesman lose an opportunity to establish a productive relationship? Perhaps Bert will show us an alternative approach. 
Good afternoon. Afternoon. I see you're interested in a plain paper fax. Yes, I am. Well, let me show you some of our latest machines. Thank you. This Canon B360, for instance, is a good multifunctional machine that may offer some new opportunities for you. The secret of a successful sales approach is that the salesperson makes me feel important and that he can offer assistance and information that is useful to me. But I don't want to be rushed or be overwhelmed by information. To continue the conversation, I will also look at the attitude of the salesperson himself. So whose approach do you think will be the most successful? That wasn't very hard to answer, was it? Of course, it was Bert's approach that opened up the conversation. Let me give you some extra tips for your approach. First, I was already looking at the fax machines, so everything that was said in relation to these should be interesting to me. Second, Bert told me something I wasn't aware of, the existence of multifunctional machines. And third, he didn't end his approach with a question, but with a statement, saying that a multifunctional machine might be interesting and useful for me. Remember, you don't always have to use a question to get the attention of your customer. And what's more, I liked Bert's relaxed manners. As you just saw, starting a conversation and the exchange of information is crucial after the first approach has been established. An important tool in achieving this is asking open-ended questions instead of closed-ended questions. Open-ended questions require multiple word answers. Closed-ended questions can be answered by a simple yes or no. Have a look at this. May I ask what type of equipment you use? May I ask you if you already have a fax machine? Can you tell me what the open-ended question was? Archie's or Bert's? Just look at how this conversation ends and you'll see what I mean. Uh, what equipment I use, a uh, PC and a printer, a telephone with an answering machine, of course, a uh, thermal fax, and for copies, I walk over to the supermarket on the corner. Uh, if I use a fax, mm -hmm. um, yes, I do. Well, who do you think will have the greatest difficulty in progressing towards a conversation about a multifunctional machine? My answer to Archie was almost a perfect setup for this. Don't you agree? Now let's proceed with step number two, the customer need analysis. To find out what the customer needs, you don't necessarily have to know all technical details of all the machines in your shop. Neither do you have to give your prospect the most impressive presentation. All you have to be is be the perfect listener, the one who really knows when useful information is required and when a new question will do. Imagine I've already been talking about faxes. Now they're going to introduce me to the multifunctionality of faxes. Have a look at the following conversations. Am I correct in understanding that you also use a PC and printer at home? Certainly. And may I ask, uh, what is the reason you're primarily looking for a fax machine using normal paper? Well, I have an old thermal fax at home, and the fading of the text just drives me crazy. And I hate to have to cut all the messages by hand into A4 sizes. These two questions really convinced me that Archie was trying to assess my working situation. And that's just vital for such a conversation. But there was a difference between the two questions. The first confirmed what I already told him, and the second gave new information that can lead to new points of interest. Both questions were very helpful. Well done. Let's see how Bert gets along. Do you think that multifunctional machines can be an interesting development in the home office? Well, I'm not exactly sure what they can do, but uh, if they save space, every small office will profit from them. And if you compare having one compact machine with several functions instead of three or four standalone machines, would that be a reason for you to consider buying it? Well, as long as I need all those functions and the price is attractive enough, it might be something to consider. But I was looking for a plain paper fax, and now I end up with a different kind of product. Bert used two other kinds of questions to find out more about my needs. First, he tried to determine my underlying attitude towards multifunctional machines. And secondly, he wanted to see if I felt some kind of commitment and how far that reached. Both Archie and Bert did a good job by showing us what direction questions should take. By doing this, they are able to get very close to their customers' needs and interests. Let's look at one more example. I won't be so easy going this time. After all, the B360 is a more expensive than the average good plain paper fax. And I didn't ask for anything else, did I? So why should I pay more? And what kind of printer do you use? I use a matrix printer. I see. Well, the B360 is a bubble jet printer as well. Now, that technology is a great improvement over the matrix printer. 
I agree with you that the B360 costs more than the average plain paper fax, but it's also got more benefits as well as it's a multifunctional machine. Now, if you tell me what kind of equipment you use at the moment, then perhaps we can find out what extra functions the B360 might add for you. Who will raise my curiosity? Archie, who wants to sell me a printer as well, or Bert, who wants to explain the benefits of a multifunctional machine? Although, I'm not convinced I need something that sophisticated. For the moment, I'm happy with my printer. What I really need is a fax. Thank you. Well, this machine is a fax, printer, copier, scanner, all in one. Now, that really is something quite new. And maybe you need those other functions as well. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm sure it's a beautiful machine, but I, I already told you I need a fax. Multifunctional, you say. Well, what, what on earth does that mean? Well, that means that this fax machine has extra functions built in. It's a PC fax, copier, printer, and scanner as well. If you tell me what kind of a business you work in, then perhaps I can demonstrate to you what this machine might be able to do. As you just saw, I was overwhelmed by the possibilities by Archie. All I needed was a fax, and he showed me a machine that not only seemed expensive to me, but also could do many things I wasn't asking for. In a way, Bert did the same, but his questions were geared to my situation. And to explain what is so special about the Canon B360, all he did was mention the word multifunctional, instead of throwing all these functions at me. I wasn't scared off by Bert, because he was interested in me, and not just proud about the B360. critical point in the success of selling the B360 is asking questions. Your customer very often may ask for a fax machine, or perhaps a printer, but seldom for a multifunctional machine. That's why it's up to you to consider if this customer can use a multifunctional product. Of course, questions like these may be necessary to make your customer realize that the less expensive the fax machine is, the more expensive it is to operate. How often are you sending and receiving fax messages? Do you send and receive fax messages locally and abroad? What kind of materials are you sending and receiving? But when selling a Canon B360, there are more needs to fulfill than just a need for a fax. Your workbook will show you the four basic categories in which you can divide your prospect buyers. We'll just go on practicing how you can find out about his or her present need and how you can develop further needs for other features as well. As I already said, a relaxed relationship with your customer is of vital importance. He must trust your skill and may not be suspicious because he thinks you'll try to get your bonus points for the month at the expense of his money. And what will you do in the next situation, for instance? Do you use a computer and Windows 3.1? Uh, no, I do have a computer, but I don't work with Windows. Well, then you just sell your customer a Canon Fax B340 or B320. But if I had answered that I did work with Windows 3.1, the conversation would have gone as follows. Are you aware that fax machines have evolved today into multifunctional machines, which means fax, printer, copier, and scanner? They can be hooked up to your PC and operated through Windows easily. He wants to measure my interest. If I react positively, he can go on with his questions. Uh, no, I wasn't aware of that, but what does it imply for me? Well, what kind of equipment do you use? Okay, you've heard that one before. Just to remind you of the importance of it, this question is necessary to guide you to the functions of the B360 that you should highlight. Uh, that is all I have, a PC, a printer, and a fax, and it's also all I need. And may I ask uh, what kind of business you're in? Ah, now he wants to become personal. What shall I say? I uh, sell insurance. Ah, then where do you create the documents? That's a nice one, too. If I work in a middle or large size company, it's not very logical to buy a B360. I'll give him a break this time. I work for a big corporation, but most of the time I'm on the road, so whenever I fax something, it's done in my home office after working hours. Mm -hmm. I guess you all know that people are happy to talk about their daily working situation or complain about it, and everyone likes to improve that situation. You can profit from that because you need it to find out if your customer really can use a multifunctional machine. Have a look at this. I'm very impressed by the PC fax possibility of this machine, but I'd hate to have my computer on at home 24 hours a day. That's one of the great disadvantages of a PC fax, don't you agree? Uh, I don't know. Uh, just a minute. Uh, 
Well, what is the meaning of all this hemming and hawing, do you think? That was meant to show you the importance of product knowledge. Because product knowledge gives you personal confidence, which creates more enthusiasm, which will give you more selling success. It's a simple formula, but it's magic. So, let's go over to selling skill three, solution selling. Imagine that you know all the important features of the Canon B360 inside out. What do you consider to be the best selling technique? Now, the automatic document feeder can take up to 30 pages. This gives you the opportunity to turn on the machine, walk away, do other things while it's scanning. The automatic document feeder can take up to 30 pages. The cartridge prints up to 700 pages or 1400 pages in the economy mode. The printer is compatible with any software application that supports not only the Canon BJ10, but also the IBM Pro Printer X24E and the Epson LQ510 emulation. Wow, Bert really did his homework this time. He gave much more information on the features than Archie. Still, look at my reaction on both. So, you mean that I can just uh, make an urgent phone call while the machine is printing? Certainly. Especially so, since the BJ's printing technique is virtually silent. Excuse me, I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. I I'm afraid that this machine is too sophisticated for me. Don't you have something a little more simple? How about that nice little cheap fax over there that's on sale right now? Boy, he really lost me this time. And after all that trouble that he's been through to find out what my needs were. You know what he did? He gave me nice-to-know information, which instead of being relevant to me, confused me enormously. Archie, on the other hand, told me something simple that was recognizable for me. The so-called relevant decision-oriented information. Do you think Bert understands what I mean? The B360 has Canon's built-in PC fax software. Hmm. Not quite yet, I'm afraid. Okay, Archie, how would you handle this situation? The built-in software means that you don't have to buy special software for the communication between your B360 and your PC. That's my boy. He sells me benefits instead of features. I want to know what the advantages are for me. I'm not interested in the technical details that do not relate to my situation. All right, Bert, your last chance to find a solution that works for me. Well, if you're looking for a plain paper fax, then let me show you the Canon B360, which incorporates a high-quality printer as well. The printer is based on the well-known Canon bubble jet technique. Let me show you the printout that it makes. Isn't that wonderful? Now, it's up to you to decide what you're going to print out. That is, all your faxes, or just only when you need a hard copy. You see? The customer's benefit starts with the customer's need, and a good salesman knows how to relate the product to that need. That's all that really matters in selling the B360, as it has so many capabilities that you'll probably not be able to sum them all up without boring your customer. Now over to step four, closing the sale. You may think you've won your customer over, but that's exactly the moment you've reached the climax and you're going to close a sale or lose your customer and all the time you spent on him or her. Who do you think will succeed in helping me to decide about the purchase of a B360? This really is the best multifunctional machine we have at the moment. And I can assure you, everyone who's a bit au fait with the latest developments wants to have a machine like this one. You like the fact that you can send and receive faxes on normal paper or through your PC, and that you can use the B360 as a copier and a printer. Seems to me you've found what you're looking for. Why not take the machine with you? Of course, what Bert said was much more interesting to me than Archie's reasoning. Bert gave me a short summary of the benefits I was looking for and then invited me without being too pushy to buy it. But there's another way to convince your customer. You all know that moment when a customer is ready to decide yes or no, and the decision he makes will be irrevocable. With one sentence, you can turn his no into a yes, but the risk of losing your customer always lurks around the corner. Therefore, this only works with confident salespeople who really have built up a good relationship with their customer. Have a look at this. Well, there's nothing more I can add. Why don't you just buy it? Uh, no, I'm sorry. I have to think it over. I'll uh, be back in a few days, I promise. You know, the more one looks, the more difficult and frustrating it can be. If you think this machine can fulfill your needs, 
Why don't you buy this one? Take it home. Yes, you're right. One can have too much information, and that's confusing as well. You see what just happened? Bert lost his patience with me and lost me in the process. Archie, on the other hand, sketched a situation for me that was familiar. Here's another example of a sentence that can make a customer decide to buy a product. Well, I think you've found what you're looking for. Why don't you just take it with you right now? Okay, I'll take it. the deal has been closed, and we've almost reached the end of this film. But before I say goodbye, allow me to sum up all the subjects that have passed by on your TV screen during this videotape. We've introduced you to the B360, Canon's multifunctional machine that runs on specially developed PC fax software. Thanks to this software, the B360 can be used as a standalone fax, a PC fax, a printer, a copier, and a scanner. It saves the user time, space, and money. Now, in order to help you with the special selling techniques that are necessary to introduce the multifunctional machine phenomenon to your customers, we've shown you the following steps in the selling cycle. First, approach your client in such a way that a conversation and an exchange of information will follow. Open-ended questions were a useful help in this. Second, find out what your customer needs, and if possible, develop further needs toward other functions from the B360. Third, when you found out what your customer needs are, give him the solution by demonstrating the capabilities of the B360. But remember to always inquire about the needs first, then relate the solution to these needs. And fourth, when the climax has been reached and the decision about the sale is at hand, dare to invite your client to buy the product. It's as simple as that. And before I leave you, let me remind you that in order to achieve all this, you also need product knowledge about the B360. It will give you more personal confidence as a salesperson, and that will create more enthusiasm, which will give you more selling success. As my colleague showed you, if you know the capabilities of Canon's B360, it won't be difficult to be enthusiastic about it. So now it's time to go. We wish you wisdom and success in doing your work, that you may be as multifunctional and flexible as this machine here is.